What if I told you today's your birthday? What if I told you today's Valentine's? Would you feel or act any different? I wouldn't. And let me explain you why. Good evening, Kandis Chairman, Chief Judge, and the Kandisians. Would you believe me if I told you I have two birthdays? People often say, love changes your present, but marriage changes your future. <laughs> but in my case, it changed my past. For 23 years of my life, I celebrated my birthday on a certain date. Although the date of my birth on the birth certificate was something different. And as I had proposed or was planned to get married, I will ask for my horoscope, the Kundli, the match. And that's where they asked me to tell what is the exact date that you were born. The one that you're celebrating or the one that is a birth certificate one. And that's where the quest began to find out when was my real date of birth. Why was this? Is it, is it, was it a pure error? And that's where I went back to the hospital that I was born. I went back to the incidents that happened during my birth. And that's where I realized I wasn't born on the day that I was celebrating. I was born on the date, the birth certificate, the date which was there on the birth certificate. Bang, all the confusion that was happening for all these 23 years with regard to the date of birth got sorted out and I got a new birth date. Now the question that occurred to me, why was I so excited for 23 years on a date that I was not born? It struck to me that why is it that we believe or feel elated or feel excited on a certain day that is suddenly assigned as a birth date? Why not on other days? I started to celebrate my birthday with my family on the new date while I didn't bother to explain to the world of the new, the older date that was not my birthday. And so I started celebrating my birthday on two days. That's when I realized that we uh, believe in our minds of the spirit that we carry only in our minds. If I tell you today is Valentine's, how would you act? If today is your anniversary, how would you act? And that's where it cemented this idea within my mind that it's not the date, it's the spirit that you carry in your minds that creates the world for you as you call it special. I then started analyzing the other special days of our life. The anniversaries, the Valentines, Diwali, Eid, Ramzan, whatever you celebrate. The New Year Eve. Isn't your mother your mother a month before Mother's Day? What changes on the 1st of January which wasn't on 31st of December that you start making resolutions, that you start having actions while we had one of the human speech conditions sharing that he missed out on the 14th of February and he waited for that one month. Maybe if he had used that 15th of February it could have been something different. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> Why I say this is because we are struck this limitation that we put on our own minds of what is special on a certain date is what limits us. That is what creates the belief within us of what we can't do on normal, non-special days. And that's where this is what I understood that the spirit of anything that you celebrate, anything, is far, far, far simpler than the grandness of celebrations that we have. You talk of the New Year party that you celebrate, you talk of Diwali candle uh, lighting of the Riyadh, or you talk of Raksha Bandhan, or you talk of Independence Day, or you talk of Women's Day or Father's Day. The grandness with which, with which we have these celebrations is something which is completely different from what the underlying spirit of it is. And that is what we need to focus. Once you understand the underlying spirit, you realize that these, the spirit can be lived in the everyday moments. And that is what changed for me. What changed for me is that I didn't wait for Valentine's to give a rose to my wife. I give it more often now. I don't wait for some mother's day to click a selfie with my mom. I carry her hand like she used to do with me in the malls while she was, while I was young. I do it right today. I don't wait for some friendship day to call my friend and wait for a sharing a recollect or recollect a moment of our friendship. And that's where things changed. This change that the little moments is what carries the real spirit changed the entire feeling within me of what I am doing on a daily basis, not waiting for some special days. But really what cemented this idea of living in spirit deep within me was death. On one fine day, I was listening to my professor in the classroom. The next day, I was listening to the sermons at his funeral. On one fine day, I was laughing out loud with my friend. The next day, I could not console his mother on his demise. 
And that's where I realize the biggest irony of our life is that we wait for days to come to celebrate this spirit. We live our entire lives in the elusive hope of tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll do something special. Tomorrow I'll wear that special dress. Tomorrow I'll express my feelings. Why do we wait? Why all we are certain of in this life is now. We are not sure of what comes tomorrow. We are not sure whether that tomorrow comes or not. And that's where this thing changed within me and deep within me cemented this idea that we have only today. We have only now that you can seize control of and live your life completely. And that's where all I started to believe in was what you celebrate on a certain day is purely cosmetic. What remains within you a day, a week, a month later is what its true spirit. By the way, did I share my birth date with you? I didn't. Because it doesn't matter when you're living in spirit.